We have an ongoing joke among poultry breeders. We call it chicken math. That we'll say something like, I have five chickens, and you look in a pen and you got 25. Or I have 100 chickens, and I have, in reality, you have like 500. This is just kind of what goes on. And we call it chicken math. This is pigeon math. I swear I've only got about five pairs of pigeons total on this place. Um, this is actually a holding pen. So what tends to happen is when you start getting interested in racing, is even though you can invest lots of good money and lots of nice pigeons on the auction and get on the racing pigeon auctions and get totally obsessed with um, get totally obsessed with buying birds and spend all kinds of money and do things of that nature. In spite of that, when you get started racing, everybody wants to give you pigeons. Everybody. Everybody's got too many and they're always wanting to give them to you so this is what happens is you start getting all kinds of free pigeons because everybody you know everybody's got too many to feed and everybody wants to pass a bunch on to you so I have all kinds of stuff I actually have a few in here I, I bought like this uh, this pair of red frill stencils here these guys, I bought them. The black frill stencil, you remember him from an earlier video, I bought him. Um, he came from Nick Matress, but he was actually bred by Northern Lights Loft. Really good geneticist. Um, I've got a pair of Barless that uh, came out of Florida from Hollywood Lose the line is what they come down out of. I've got my, the Milkies, I bought the Milkies. And I got a couple of miscellaneous odds and ends in here. I got a Australian smash cockbird that's in here somewhere, wherever he is, an ash red, which you would call silver. Him. He's not milky. He's a silver. He's a lavender. Basically, what we would call kind of rollers. He's made into that black hen. You would think the black hen's a black widow bird. She's she's not. She comes down out of a bird they call. Her buckwheat locally and I don't know much about buckwheat but uh, that's what she's down out of not a black widow bird and then I do have one cock bird in here um, that blue bar white wing he is actually black widow blooded and the rest of them I really don't know what they are to tell you the truth well this yellow hen she's supposedly down from a Jansen but I, I kind of doubt that the Jansen's had any dilute pigeons so I suspect they were probably those Jansen yellow, Jansen creams and stuff are probably created pigeons. But uh, this is what happens when you start racing. And everybody in the dog gives you a whole bunch of birds. So a lot of these are just old breeders. They were birds that people no longer wanted to feed or anything like that. And they just decided that they needed to go to somebody else. And of course I wound up with them and they're just in here doing whatever. Some of them are pretty old. Um, some of them are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. But some of them are reading, like this little squab up here. His mother's an 11-year-old hen that's in here. Um, there's a Dutch import in here somewhere. This guy. Or no, not, that's not him. That's not him. It's not the slate. It's a bird in here with a funny Dutch band on him. And some of them are bad, but uh, needless to say, this is kind of what happens. It's like, you know, you know, you end up with all kinds of pigeons and you start to wonder where they all came from and what they are. And needless to say, most of these birds I got that were given to me, they don't have pedigrees and they really, it was very limited information about them. It was just kind of one of those, here you go, if they turn out any good, um, let me know and I'll let you know what it was. Like, this bird here, he's got a race band on him. He's got a, he's been raised. So he's a returner at least. So just a whole lot of racing homers. I guess I must have about 35 in here, 40. And they're just, where I'm not using them for my own breeding project. They're just kind of doing whatever and making youngsters and the youngsters will go on the race team. And I guess if they do any good, they do any good. If they don't, if they, if they don't, they don't. You know. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I will see you all later. Keep them flying out there. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe.